The Psalms are a very remarkable part of the Bible. Um, they're filled with the whole range of human emotions, uh, filled with joy, filled with anguish, and often filled with questions and uh, all the difficulties of life that the writer of the songs is experiencing, struggling to understand how to follow the living God when everything seems to be falling apart around them. And it's wonderfully encouraging, isn't it, that God has given us these songs in the Bible uh, to show us what it's really like to be a disciple, a follower of Jesus. Um, because life isn't always easy. Life isn't always filled with joy. Often we are... We can have uh, down moods often. We can be perplexed by the things that life throws at us. So sitting down and seeing that this is actually the normal Christian life is marvellously encouraging. So the Psalms we've been looking at, uh, uh, 87 through to 97, um, uh, are a typical selection of Psalms. Some of them, 88 for example, is just filled with questioning and, and uh, anguish about uh, the writer not really understanding what God is up to. Uh, others are filled with uh, great uh, hymns of praise to God for what he's done. Others are more sort of uh, what you might call didactic psalms. In other words, they're, they're, they're trying to teach us from Israel's history what... Um, uh, what God is really like and encouraging us through that to, to remind us that God is always faithful to his promises. And the most wonderful thing about the Psalms is that they take us to Jesus. When you read them through the lens of uh, the New Testament, you see that many of these Psalms are actually speaking either directly about the Lord Jesus or else posing questions that can only be answered uh, by the Lord Jesus. And uh, they become remarkably not a, a songbook from a thousand years BC, but a songbook for today in the light of the cross. I hope you enjoy reading them and I hope you uh, are encouraged by and through them to say, along with the writer of Psalm 91, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust.